from Phoenix Shaving, Black Shroud. We're going to build a ladder with it, and we're going to have a shave coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere. It's MargaretGeorgeToon.com. I'm back with another video. Great to see you again. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. We have a brand new shave soap from Phoenix Shaving in the shave den. Really excited about this one. Before we get to it, if this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos and also please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. From Phoenix Shaving, Doug and Fran very kindly sent along Black Shroud in 3D. <laughs> How about that, huh? This is an homage to a very vintage scent. This is uh, an homage to Woodhue by Fabergé. Yeah, this was introduced about 1944, and this is the only scent that Dean Martin ever wore. Yeah, so definitely, as Doug says, when you listen to Dean Martin's song, Sway, that song captures the essence of this scent. We'll put the scent notes on the bottom of the screen so you can get a look at them, but it is very, very multi-layered and complex and absolutely wonderful. Very gentlemanly, very refined, has some elegance there. As I said in the Monday Morning Mailbag, I thought there was a slight powder note there. If there is, it's ever so slight. But boy, that is a really nice, nice scent. I can understand why Dean Martin only wore this. This is fantastic. And again, check out that label art right there. It's just absolutely fantastic. And again, the one thing I like about Phoenix Shaving, whenever they launch a new product, it has its roots in uh, shave soaps, razors, brushes of yesteryear. So I end up learning a little more of the history of the traditional wet shave. And this is another example of that. Uh, Woodhue by Fabergé. It really is a very, very captivating uh, scent. No doubt about it. I like it a lot. So not only do we have the shave soap, but we have the bundle. So we have the aftershave cologne that we're going to finish it off with. We are going to be using my Doppler shaving brush right here. Okay, we'll let that soak a little bit. Uh, my razor is going to be the metaphor from Phoenix Shaving right there. Yeah, and we're going to be using a Persona Red razor blade with that. Looking forward to that. We'll kick it off with the uh, Cube 2.0, as we always do. Fantastic, fantastic pre-shave. I just heard from a viewer named uh, High Tech Hillbilly. He got this. He absolutely loves it. Give it a try. If you haven't, it really is worth it. We got my brush scuttle here to keep everything nice and warm. I'm going to finish it off with uh, an Allen block, no slip grip, and the dry dock system, also from Phoenix Shaving. That's kind of got a lay of the land here. I want to get right to the shave. This is in CK6, so you know the performance is going to be absolutely outstanding. We'll put a little bit of hot water on there. It's a brand new puck. I'm going to put a little bit of hot water on there. I'm going to do a face lather. Let me get the brush out of the way. I don't want the hot water to hit the brush, uh, but I do want to get some hot water in the puck. I don't like to uh, have hot water hitting a brush uh, for a long period of time um, because uh, word is it's 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 thought that it's thought that if the hot water hits the bristles for far too long, it may loosen the glue and you'll get, start getting some stray hairs coming out that sort of thing. So just as a precaution, I'm going to take the brush out and we're going to put some hot water in there. Okay, that's hot. Ooh, that's good and hot too. So we'll let that that hot water right there just kind of sit on top of that puck and get things going there a little bit. And we're going to go ahead and wet the face and get to the shape. All right. Here we go with the Cube 2.0. Again, the way you use the Cube 2.0 is that the first time around, you're cleaning your face with it. You're degreasing that skin and whisker. That's what you're doing with it. And that's what we're doing right here.
Almost like you can shave with that right there by itself, right? And I have done that before, too. You check out my review of just shading with the cube. All right, let's rinse. Okay, now, this next go around with the cube is meant to be your pre-shave, your pre-shave base. And if you want to, you can go against the grain here a little bit and kind of work it in. I got about a day and a half worth of hair growth here. I'm going to work that up a little more. How about that, huh? Oh, yeah. We're ready to go. Let me drain the sink just a little bit. Getting kind of high there. All right. That's good. We're going to take this hot water now. That's been really, that really, that's been long enough. CK6 is amazing. It just, <laughs> it just explodes off the brush. And you don't need a lot of, uh, you don't need to swirl a lot in order to get a good brush load. Okay, so here we go. We're just going to go like this. I'm going to get a little bit on. Boy, that scent just filled the room from that hot water being on there. And even in that short period of time, it just bloomed. I mean, that was great. This is an amazing scent. It really is. Menthol, mint, rose, sandalwood, uh, spice, floral, vinegar, woody, vanilla. Ah, it's a spicy, woody, com complex and captivating bouquet of classic man, as Doug puts it. That's enough right there. We got a good load right there. And I am using the Doppler shaving brush. Boy, is this a nice brush. 26 millimeter knot. Got a great handle. Uh, if you saw the morning Monday morning mailbag, uh, Mark Badwell talked about this brush uh, in a review that he did. And he compared it to the Earskin, the Earskin 150, I believe. And he just, hands down, gave it to the Doppler. I mean, <laughs> it's a fantastic, fantastic shaving brush. And of course, it's got the butterscotch handle. Thanks, Mom. Uh, just fantastic. I'm just getting a little more water here to uh, really get that lather going well. Again, you don't need a lot of swirling with CK6. And if you got the pre-shave, you know, that, that really lays a good groundwork for, uh, well, boom, leather! <laughs> How about that? Look, I mean, that's amazing. That is wonderful. Oh, that's just the right consistency that I like. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm going to put that in the brush scuttle, let that uh, heat up. Here's my, uh, my razor. This is a fantastic, fantastic razor. I'm going to take the, uh, there's the base plate. There's the cap. This is the handle. Okay. It uh, also has the uh, removable end tips, which is really kind of neat. That blue tip can be removed and you can swap it for a different color tip if you want to. Really nice. Here we go with the blade. Okay, let's get this out of there. Okay. There, ah, a little bit of glue there. No, no problem. A little bit of glue right there in the center. I'm not going to worry about that too much. Here's the uh, cap. Okay, there's the Persona blade. That's going to go right in there like that. Okay. Okay, put that in there like that. The base plate, base plate here goes right on there. Fully stainless steel razor. End tabs are enclosed in the razor head, which is nice. This has a beautiful mild yet efficient uh offers a beautiful yet mild efficient shave and look blade balance i can i know every single time blade balance and alignment is spot on i don't even have to <laughs> i don't even have to look i know it's it's great love the knurling of the handle just a really terrific gives you an offers a really really terrific terrific grip and we're still good and moist here which is a good sign we're going to heat this up under some hot 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 water all right Okay, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Oh, that's nice. That is so nice. Beautiful glide. 
Wonderful slickness. This is fantastic. Love this razor. The blade is pairing up with it very well. Oh, that's terrific. That really is. The scent is fabulous. It really is. It is just, it's multi-layered, it's complex, it is captivating. <laughs> captivating is the word. When you, when you sample this scent, you'll understand why Dean Martin only wore this. Oh, that's, what a great first pass I'm having here. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, did a fairly good job there. Probably got about, I would say, a good 80% or so of the uh, whisker underneath the nostril. Uh, not bad at all. Uh, first pass done. Let's rinse. Yeah, socially acceptable. No doubt about it. Day and a half worth of uh, beard growth. I can run out the door if I want to. The scent is amazing. The scent is absolutely Wonderful. And I got plenty of lather in this knot. And it's come, it just came right back. Look at that. I love these synthetic brushes. I really, I mean, they are amazing. Look at that. We're ready to go again. Nice and warm from the brush scuttle. Just terrific. That is probably one of my favorite pieces of shaving gear, uh, especially uh, when you're doing a face liner. All right, we're going to go with pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. What uh, this shave is so wonderfully smooth. Amazing, amazing shave. Wonderful. Boy, that's, that's, that's terrific. No tugging. No pulling, just a nice, smooth swath. I mean, it's just fantastic. Boy, this razor. I've, <laughs> I haven't used this razor in a while. I'm so glad I'm using it for this shape. Now there's enough slickness there where I'm doing a little bit of buffing, a little bit of touch up after the lather is removed. Ordinarily, just shave the lather away and move on to the next area. But with CK6, I can kind of bend that roll a little bit. If you try to do that, be really careful, kind of gauge it yourself. Oh man, that, that's wonderful. That really is. Okay, second pass done. Let's rinse. The shave, the shave is done. The shave is, it's done. I don't need a third pass. 
Uh, if I want to do a third pass, I have plenty in the la in, uh, plenty of lather in the brush, as you can see right there. If I want to do a little touch-up, I have enough for touch-up. But really, two passes, day and a half worth of uh, beard growth, two passes, I'm good. This has been a wonderful, wonderful shave. We're going to do my two final rinses right now. One warm, one cold, warm water rinse to get rid of all the excess slickness. And CK6 offers a lot of nice slickness, as you saw. And then with cold water rinse, the cold water rinse to close the pores. Here's my warm water rinse. All right, we're going to flip it to the uh, cold water side. Yeah, that's a nice shave. And at times, after you do uh, your second pass, and you're thinking you're debating whether to do a third pass, the more you do this, the more you'll learn that uh, sometimes you don't need a third pass, that that whisker will just retract after it throws off its extra, excess moisture in a deep plump, so to speak. It actually pulls in, and you end up with a BBS result. So, you, you know, just... You'll learn how to gauge it. I'm at that I'm at that stage right now with this two pass shave. I know that I don't need a third pass. Uh, okay, here we go. Cold water rinse. Ah, <laughs> wonderful! That's marvelous. Great, great shave. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. I haven't used this one in a while, huh? All right, here we go. Ah, that's marvelous. Yeah, I tend to over lather. I, get, I lather over my ears and over my earlobes, and I got to really get the lather off there. But that's, I like to lather. <laughs> what a nice, nice shave. Wow. And do you like this uh, this town? Isn't that, isn't that great? Yeah. I got that from uh, Chagrin Valley Soap and Salve Company. They sell this. I'll have a link below to them. And if you use it, you will uh, you can use that and get a discount. Uh, that sort of thing by using that link that I'll provide. Okay. Nice, very, very nice, wow. Really a nice, nice shave. All right, here's the Allen block. This will let me know what kind of feedback we'll, we'll, we'll get. Let's see if we get any stinging or zinging up here from a little bit of that extra, little of that extra buffing that I did. So we're gonna put this under some cold water here. All right, here we go. Oh, nothing, smooth as ice. Boy, that speaks highly of CK6 and the slickness, glide, and protection that it offers. There's nothing there. Man, this whole, this is, the whole face is smooth as ice and really just a nice, nice shave. Wow. Fantastic. Here's the dry dock right here. Let me just a little wet there. Okay. Put that in there and let the air in the room do the rest of the job of drying that out. I use an L block uh, in my post shave routine after every shave. If you haven't tried it, uh, I recommend that you give it a go. Uh, two ways to use it. You can, uh, like I have, uh, wet, wet, wet the block, apply it to your face and just let it sit on your face. And then after that, apply your aftershave. Uh, or apply it, wait about 30 seconds and then rinse it off. See how your skin reacts. If it becomes overly dry, you might want to just back off on a little bit, that sort of thing. But I like it. I use it post-shave, after every shave, and it is uh, fantastic. I like it a lot. Let's take a look at the brush. The Doppler brush right here. This is CK6. My goodness. My goodness. Look at that, huh? And that is just the best. It is just absolutely fantastic. I love, I love CK6. CK6 is just Marvelous. It's wonderful. Just really, really just a top shelf uh, shaving soap. Say that five times. <laughs> so here we go. We're just going to do the uh, aftershave and cologne. 
right now. Okay. Okay. We're probably going to do a head shave later on, so we'll dispense with the uh, balm upstairs. We'll just go ahead. Look at this. Brand new. I'm going to take that off there. It has the plastic restrictor there like that. So when it's a new bottle like this, it takes a little bit to get going there. Oh, no, this is really coming out nicely. Oh, man, that's good. Oh, that's terrific. Okay. Oh, that's marvelous. What a scent. Yeah. Captivating bouquet of classic. Man, a complex, captivating bouquet of classic. Man, absolutely. And it's got a little kick there, too, which I like. Yeah, I don't know if there's any spike nard in there. I'll have to look at the ingredients. Usually, when I feel that kind of a little bit of kick from Phoenix Shaving Aftershave, Aftershave slash Colognes, uh, I look at the ingredients. I think there's a little bit of spike nard in there. If I'm not missing, if I, if, if I, if I miss my guess, might be spike nard. I know spike nard's in Diver Down, and boy, that's got a great kick from that aftershave clone. Absolutely fantastic. And folks, great, great shave. Wonderful, wonderful scent. You know, you already know the performance of CK6 is just absolutely top notch. This scent is another winner. Uh, hats off to Doug over there at Phoenix Shaving. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, great that he's bringing back a vintage classic scent from uh, the 1940s, from yesteryear. Uh, Wood Hue by Fabergé. Absolutely fantastic. I now understand why Dean Martin <laughs> was a fan. This is, this is wonderful. This is, you know, as I say, I gauge a lot of these scents as to how I would use them. Uh, man, perfect, perfect scent for an evening out. You're going out to dinner? Great scent. You're going to go to a show? Great scent. Absolutely fantastic for a night out of the town. Absolutely wonderful. You can use it daily if you so choose. It's very, very good for that as well. Uh, especially if you're someone who puts out a suit and tie, coat and tie. Absolutely. This will absolutely be killing it. Absolutely fantastic. It's not overstated. It is uh, something that uh, when you walk in the room, it's not going to hit people over the head. But boy, it really does have a great, great uh, scent uh, and aura to it, so to speak. It's just really, really very, very good. So that's it. Black Shroud from Phoenix Shaving. Check it out. I'll have the links below. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like, hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below, let me know. Check out all the great artisan soap makers that you see displayed on the bottom of the page. They offer some wonderful, wonderful artisan shaving soap, and they also offer some absolutely wonderful shaving gear to enhance your traditional wet shave. When you get a chance, please check them out. I sure would appreciate it. Also, check out my Amazon product page at Amazon.com slash shop slash Mark's where you'll find all the products I review in this channel, organized and categorized, so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.